Hi everyone and welcome to one of our Ambiseca quick flow practices. So I hope the quality of this video is okay. Um, there's been a little bit of a gap recently. Our camcorder, of well, recorded all of our practices for the last few months, decided to wipe everything, corrupt every file I've tried to record. So uh, I've had to go old school once more, back to a phone. Um, so I hope you can hear me clearly enough. I know that was a problem sometimes and you can see. Please do let me know in the comments below if this is no good for you. So a uh, quick flow practice today and we're doing an entirely seated quick flow practice. Little bit of kneeling, little bit of lying down, but there's no big movements. So for this one, you can do it anytime. You don't need to put on your yoga gear. Just, just rock up on your mat, whatever you're wearing, as long as you can move fairly comfortably. We've got a bit of focus around the shoulders and the chest. And even if you don't get really tight shoulders and chest if you're not uh, a driver a lot of the time if you're not working on a computer i quite like doing shoulder and chest practices because a lot of what we do you can easily injure yourself especially if you're one of our aerialists if you don't have really really released shoulders and chest if you're at all tight or you're all uneven you know, you've got one shoulder up here and one down there it's easy to do yourself an injury this is a quick practice as i say we've got a little bit of breath work to center i'm going to work with the ujjayi breath um Little bit of centering at the end but mostly this is just a very gentle practice we don't need a warm-up and a cool down because you're not really doing anything strong but hopefully it's one that you'll feel the difference as you go through so starting by coming to a comfortable seated position on your mat closing your eyes or softening your gaze bring your awareness into your breath Taking a few moments to feel the flow of your breath at the start of your practice today. Is that breath fast or slow? Deep or shallow? Does your breath feel warm or cool? Allowing yourself to draw the breath a little deeper down to the base of the lungs. And as you exhale, as you release, letting go of anything that's holding you back today. Letting go of any worries, any distractions. Breathe out. Let it go. Bring your mind and your body to your practice today. Bring your awareness into the flow of your breath. I'm going to work with Ujjayi breath through the nose today. So as you work with Ujjayi, the aim is to draw the breath down through the back of the throat. And that causes the muscles there, the vocal cords, just to vibrate very slightly. So sometimes this breath is also known as the Darth Vader breath because it sounds like very heavy breathing. And when you first do Ujjayi, uh, it can be difficult to get that sound, that feeling on both the inhale and the exhale. But also if you're working a group class, you can feel quite self-conscious. So this is a great breath to be doing at home where it's nice and private. And you don't need to worry about if the person on the next mat can hear you or if you're not doing it right. The downside is it's quite difficult for my breath to come across um, through the recording. So I'm hoping this is going to work today. So starting to draw the breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Feeling that breath vibrating over through the back of the throat. Hearing the sound of the breath starting to rattle through the head. One of the great things about Ujjayi is the sound of this breath cuts out external distractions. Your awareness comes into your head. Your head sounds so loud that it blocks out everything else that's going on. Working with that nice deep breath.
Work with this for a couple more rounds of breath, a few more rounds, this nice deep Ujjayi breath. This breath separating you from your day, bringing you to your mat, bringing you to your place of practice, bringing you inside your body, connecting with your breath, your thoughts, and on your next exhale, returning to a natural pace of breathing, a natural depth of breath. Just noticing if that practice has had any impact on you mentally, physically, or changed your breath. And then when you're ready, start and take the right ear towards the right shoulder. Rolling the chin down towards the chest. And taking the left ear towards the left shoulder. Exhale, rolling the head back. Slowly chin across chest, ear towards shoulder. And inhale, rolling over to the opposite side. Keeping that roll going from side to side. Work with the breath, just feeling how that's easing through the neck and the shoulders. Becoming aware of if that feeling travels down your back at any point. If it feels tighter on one side than the other. Are you fighting the urge to raise your shoulders up? Just getting to know how your body's feeling today. And any different side to side. Fantastic. And when you've taken that an even number of times to each side, bring the head back to centre, back to a neutral spine, and taking your right arm up in the air, palm towards the centre. And just very slowly as you exhale, taking that arm back a little behind you. And as you inhale, bring that back to centre. Exhale, rolling the shoulder. Taking the one arm back and inhale centre. Working to the pace of your breath a few more times. Next time you bring the hand back to centre, we're going to change the hand position. So instead of pointing towards the centre, turn your palm forward. And just taking that movement a few more times. Exhale, rolling the shoulder back, taking the hand back towards the wall behind you. And inhale, bring it back up towards the vertical. So as you inhale, you should be coming towards a fairly neutral position, fairly comfortable position. If that means for you, you bring it further forward. And working with that. All of this can be done from any comfortable seated position. If you prefer to be kneeling, if you prefer to have your legs in front of you, if you even prefer to sit on a chair, as long as it hasn't got a really high back that's going to make this hard, you can work in a chair. Like a dining chair is fine, think like your, um, your, your wing back armchair, not so good. Okay, making that the last one, releasing that arm down, taking a moment, just feeling the difference between your two shoulders, and then stretching the opposite arm up, the palm towards the centre, and starting in here, exhale, rolling the shoulder back, taking the arm behind you, and inhale, bring it back, straight up over your shoulder, the vertical, and working between those two points for a few rounds of breath. And next time we're going to centre, I'm going to change that palm position. So instead of facing in towards you, 
rolling the hand forward and changing that so you roll the shoulder back and inhale back to center exhale roll the shoulder back inhale center taking that just a few more times And next thing we've got the centre, release down and bring both shoulders up towards your ears. Rolling the shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades together behind you, dropping down, then rolling forward together. Keeping that very slow roll going, always rolling backwards. The next few rounds of breath. And as you roll that back once more, coming round on your mat to all fours. Just put your knee pad in, you may want underneath your knees. Bring your hands roughly under your shoulders. If that's uncomfortable, taking the hands a little further forward. Coming up to fists, adjusting as you need. Remember, if you've got high mobility, if your elbows are facing forwards, putting that little bit of a bend in the elbow so that the elbows face out. The joints are facing towards each other. We're not going to work through a full cat cow just now. We're going to work literally between the shoulder blades. So as you inhale, arching up between the shoulder blades, making as much space as you can between the shoulders. As you exhale, feeling the chest and only really think about the chest between the shoulder blades coming down so that the shoulder blades are squeezing towards one another. Inhale, lift up as much space as you can between the shoulders. Your back is so much wider. And exhale, drop the chest down, squeeze the shoulder blades together. If you do this movement in a really sort of tight top, you can really feel how much space you create across the back. And then you can feel how much compression you have between the shoulder blades as you make that space through the front as you work through the two points in this movement. Okay, completing even number of movements either way. Bring your awareness into your right arm. I'm going to change my ankle just slightly, hope to make it a little bit easier to see this movement. And we're going to start to lift the right arm from the mat, stretching forward first of all, lengthening into your fingertips, and then sweeping the hand underneath, sweeping it back, and scooping forward. Making a big circle with your arm. You can start to open your chest to the side as you do this. Working through the full range of your shoulder joint. Again, sweeping it under, back and over the top. Next time you bring the hand through, changing direction. Sweeping the hand up, over the top, back and through. Keeping that movement going. If for anyone this is too much for your wrists, come to a seated position and work from seated. So there's a lot less strength through here and it does change the feeling through the shoulder blades. You can always try both just to feel how it changes for you. Um, you're still going to get a lot of the benefit but because it's not a functional movement because you haven't got any weight bearing through your shoulder at the same time it is going to act as that little bit different so 
we're making this the last one and changing sides so we're going to start with our scoop back so stretching forward first of all making your body nice and long feeling that energy from fingertip back to the hip and then scooping down up and over it's kind of like a really slow swimming movement you can tell how long it's been since I was able to get to a pool in lockdown for four months now. I was like, is this how I swim? Do I have a bent elbow or a straight arm? So scooping that through, sweeping back, up, over. You can keep your chest down towards the earth or open to the side. Listen to what your body's telling you it wants right now. Next time the hand comes through, change in direction, starting to roll the other way. Taking that movement back, up, down and through. making this the last one just taking a moment to ease the weight out seeing how that feels on both sides and then again I've turned uh, just to face you but if you stay on your mat in the same direction that will work best for you so you've still got all your mat to work with I'm going to bring my hands to the earth I'm going to take the back of one hand over towards one side and the back of the other hand over towards the other side I've just taken my weight backwards a little bit towards my heels so if I still had all my weight forward over my wrists this could be quite uncomfortable. Starting to slide the two hands out towards the sides, bring the forehead down towards the earth or if that feels uncomfortable bring your head to rest on a cushion, a block, whatever feels right for you. Sinking your hips down, bringing your bottom towards your heels Letting the weight of your upper body sink down into your shoulders to help open that stretch. And taking a few rounds of breath here. Again, if that is not right for you, coming up to seated, wrapping your hands around yourself. You're bringing your fingertips towards your shoulder blades behind you or to the outside of your shoulders. And you can do this movement without the weight bearing element. That is not a problem whatsoever. But again, I want to feel that a little bit less strong. On an inhale, raising back up. Just taking a moment to see which hand has gone forward this time. Changing which way around they are. And sliding back into that stretch with the opposite arm on top. Just taking a few rounds of breath with your stretch. With your arms going the opposite way. So your head can be down to the earth, but if for any reason hay fever, cold, anything like that, your head is not comfortable to the earth, bring your stack of blocks, bring your cushions and rest on those instead. back up coming back up to seated and stretching your legs away in front of you doing a little roll I'm just going to tuck my left leg in so my right stays extended bring the right hand just to rest gently on the left leg opening the left arm away from me 
and turning to look along that arm. The focus here is on taking the back of the left hand around behind me to give me a twist and to open the chest and the shoulders. I'm not too worried about where my hand, my right hand comes, if it comes to the knee, the shin, the toes. Just finding where it feels good for you to get that stretch with the focus on the chest. If you're thinking too much about the leg, sometimes we end up focusing on the leg and our chest starts to lean forward and collapse. So we're very much thinking about the chest, that nice opening twist. Holding there for a few more rounds of breath. On an inhale, sweeping that back to centre and changing sides. So tucking in the right leg, stretching the left leg away, bringing your hand just to rest slightly on the left leg, opening the right hand away from you. So I'm looking directly into the sun. This is not the most fun pose. Um, and again, finding that position that's right for you. If for anybody having this arm open that you're looking away from is causing you pain in your shoulder, or if your hand starts to tingle and your arm becomes numb and painful, then you can also do this with the back of the hand behind your back instead. Again, it's just changing the movement. It makes it a little bit less strong for the shoulder. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's just about what is best for your body today. So take that adjustment if that is better. And when you're ready. Bring that back to centre. Coming back to your comfortable position with that's legs crossed, legs straight in front. And just taking a few more moments to roll the shoulders up to the ears, rolling back and down. Starting from where if you feel like there's any more space, if you're moving any more easily, maybe there's a few fewer clicks, maybe that circle even feels a little bit bigger. Seeing how that feels for you right now. And then letting the shoulders release down. Closing your eyes or softening your gaze. Bring your awareness into your breath. Taking a moment to appreciate your mind for bringing you to your mat today. Your body for giving you the ability to move today. Your breath for providing the energy. Your spirit for providing the willing. Appreciating the circumstances that came to bring you to your mat today. Thanking your mind and body for everything that it's done. Taking a few deep breaths. Each breath nourishing, refilling, readying you to go back to the world today. And in your own time when you're ready, allowing the eyes to reopen. Bring your hands together at your chest in prayer. And going today with peace, compassion, contentment. Namaste.